Hello there, this is Sean Grizzly and welcome to the introductory tutorial for SQL. In this tutorial I will be briefly describing what SQL is, uh, what people use SQL for and things you can get out of the SQL language. Ok, for starters, what is SQL? SQL stands for Structured Query language okay what this is it's a query language which is well structured with you know methods and things like that so you'll soon see uh, during this introductory lesson what this actually means okay you may have come SQL before in such programs as Microsoft Access as you can see here what this actually does is create queries based upon the data in your tables for example if you have a table here for example we have 11 entries each with a uni uh, unique identification we have a picture name we have a picture file name just for quickness I put anything in here and we have a genre as what I'm uh, currently creating a personal project is a picture website and um, people will que query these websites for uh, such as they only want to see the pictures um, which have a file name of Sean or Sean's picture they may only want to see pictures which were taken in Blackpool they may only want to see pictures uh, at a nightclub called Revolt okay once you have your data in the table you can then set up a query I'll go through this briefly because this isn't the environment we're using. So in Microsoft Access you have your query here, uh, unique ID, genre and file name. So this is your table here. You're putting various data types into your query. And what a query does, it displays the data in your table under a certain constraints. So you could say display only the pictures which were taken at Revolt. In order to do this, you'd go in here, genre, and you can sort them ascending if you want. And here's the, where the SQL comes into the criteria here, like so. So we want to only display the pictures which were taken at Revolt. So if we put equals Revolt here, run it, and as you can see, it's only displaying the pictures which were taken at Revolt and you can see a picture here, a picture here and a picture here. Okay. So that is SQL under Microsoft Access and as you can see it has a queries tab here. Okay. What I'm using um, is a script uh, by Oracle which is a well known SQL developer. I'm using iSQL plus this is a standard interface in which has been uploaded on uh, my local university's website here and I'm using this as a nice template to ex uh, execute some SQL code and when you execute um, the bottom area of the screen here will display all your results and tell you if you have any errors etc. So this is what uh, SQL is uh, but what can you use SQL for? briefly discuss Microsoft Access, you can use it to query databases, display only the records you like. You can use it in a uh, programming language called ASP, which stands for Active Server Pages. You have, may have seen the uh, hotmail.com uh, website, they use ASP to generate all their content and query databases. And uh, what ASP, uh, ASP is, it's a Microsoft uh, Windows developed scripting language. And of course, uh, with Microsoft.com, etc., they because it's their language, they like to use uh, ASP to develop all their pages. And within AS, uh, ASP, you can connect to Microsoft Access databases and query them with SQL statements, as you can see. So with ASP, you can query this database online and use SQL to derive uh, content and let uh, your visitors choose 
which data um, to display on the web pages. So this is uh, what briefly uh, what SQL is and how it is used and what can you get out of the language. Uh, so in the first tutorial, which will be the next tutorial, we will be focusing on how to create tables and query them. So um, this has been Sean Greasley. Thank you for listening to the introductory tutorial on SQL. Goodbye.